Did a hundred since the first day. I deserve it all. Yeah. Baby, I deserve it all. Yeah. And I'm like, I deserve it all. Hey guys, thank you for tuning into my channel. And if you don't know, my name is Cash Monet. And today, if you can tell by the hair by the title, I will be doing a hair tutorial. And so as you can see now, I'm just going in and I'm parting my hair. And I'm actually gonna plait it and then I'm gonna braid the I'm gonna plait the front and braid the back back. So I'm gonna let you guys watch that until I put my wig cap on. Hey guys, so now my hair is plaited and braided to the back how I want it. I'm going to take my vitamin E oil, which I got from my local beauty supply store, and I'm just going to go through my parts with it and kind of give my hair some moisture and some grease before I go in and put on my wig, my wig cap. So I've gotten my hair plaited and now and greased and now I'm going in and I'm putting on my wig cap and so I've seen a few methods some people just put the wig cap on and kind of align it with their hairline some put the wig cap over their eyes and ears and then they kind of lay it down and then cut it um, that is actually the method that I'm going to use today I'm going to lay cover it cover my ears my eyes and lay it down like that however it's going to end up being the first way um so i'm just gonna let you guys watch it but as you can see i pulled the entire wig cap over my face so i'm looking like something out of a very bad scary movie <laughs> right now and now i'm just cutting out my eyes cutting out my ears kind of fitting it to my face and then i'm gonna go in with some got got to be glue got to be freeze blast spray i'm going to go in with some of that just to lay down the cap before i get into putting the glue on there
So as you can see, now I'm going in with the freeze blast spray and I'm just going over my edges, going over my hairline. And I actually do about two or three coats of this freeze blast spray because I wanted to lay down that cap as much as possible before I go in and add the glue and cut it and everything. So I I think that's like my second or my third coat right there. Uh, let's see. Nope, I got one more. That's my third coat right there and as you can see my head is very very wet but it's drying as I'm because I actually had the heat on so it's drying as I'm applying it to my face and I'm kind of rubbing it in as well so that it can dry you know a little bit before I go in and wrap it up and put the heat to it and there you go putting my wrap on my edge scarf because you gotta apply pressure like if you want it to sit you want it to lay you gotta apply pressure so i went in and i wrapped it up and then i wrapped it up again just to add some tightness to it to kind of lay it down to my skin and now i'm gonna go through with that nice little blow dryer and dry it up So now my cap is pretty much laid down. As you can see, I'm, I done took the wraps off, the scarfs off, and now I'm still going in with the blow dryer to just make sure that every part is dry and laid down. And now I'm going through and I'm cutting out the frame of my face to my hairline, getting all the excess wig cap out of the way. So that way we can start, you know, putting on that wig. So when I'm cutting the wig cap, I always start small. So when I'm cutting, I cut off little bits, little pieces, you know, until I get it to the perfected hairline kind of that I want. I, I learned my lesson in cutting too much because then, you know, you end up with the wig cap being either not sticking to your head all the way or sliding from the back. You know, I've had different things happen um, when it comes to installing wigs. So I've learned a lot of ways to kind of minimize the struggle. And I've learned that cutting less and then going back and, and detailing and tailoring it so, you know, your perfection is better than cutting more and then having to basically start over. Uh, so this is me kind of just going in. I'm inching in, um, creating that hairline with the wig cap as you can see I am very freaking precise because I've been playing on that one corner for a good little minute <laughs> and yep so I'm going in and sometimes you have to you know peel that wig cap back some because it just done laid down too much so that's what you see me doing now I'm going in and I'm peeling that wig cap back to kind of perfect that hairline and lay it down at the same time now, this particular part is where I kind of learned my lesson as far as with this particular wig cap. I've actually, this was my first and only time using this particular wig cap. I usually use the new thicker ones where when you cut it, it doesn't, it, it's so stretchy. Like when you cut it, it doesn't really bounce back. It just stays where it's at. So this particular wig cap, once I put that got to be glue or sorry, got to be freeze blast on it, it kind of started rolling back. So I, I could tell I had used too much on of it on my on the front of my face and not enough of it on the back. So now it's not really laying down in the front right there, as you can see. But that's fine because we're still going to lay this wig down, you know? Going in with the blow dryer again because you got to lay it down. Got to make sure it's dry and cute and flat. So, yeah.
Okay, y'all. So now I got that wig cap laid down. And I am about to go ahead and install the wig now. So I don't really remember where I got this wig from. And as you can see, I don't have any pictures of the product itself. But I do remember that I got it from my local beauty supply store. Um, and it was an HD transparent lace wig. So, it's very good quality hair. I actually still have this wig, too. I done styled it about two, three times since installing this. But, um, yeah. So, I'm going in with the wig. And I'm actually, right now, I'm just kind of fitting it to my face. Making sure that when I put it on, that the wig cap doesn't show underneath the, underneath the lace. You know, making sure that the hairline is going to fit to my liking. Kind of just forming you know my look so right now i'm form fitting i'm fa i'm fixing it up you know kind of pushing the hair back just to see how how many kind of looks i can do with it you know kind of just playing with it a little bit and now i'm gonna go through and i'm gonna add the glue and so some people do this different i because as you can see my hair is kind of sticking out right there so i kind of do it about two centimeters to an inch away from my hairline and then I push the glue back so that's what you're gonna see me do here in just a second Alrighty, so as you can see, I have laid down, I mean, I have gone in with my Ghost Bond hair glue, and I did one thin coat, and I'm actually pushing that back now, and then I'm going to go through and I'm going to add another coat on top of that, just to make sure that that wig lays down, down, you feel me? So, here I am going through it again with another coat, after I done rubbed in that one. And this is just for extra security because when I lay the wig down and then I put the freeze blast over it, it's going to it's gonna go to sleep. You feel me? It's going to be snatched. So, going through, rubbing that glue in again. And now I'm going to lay that wig right down on top of it. And I'm going to push that lace down. I want the ends of that hair where the glue and the end of the lace and the hair connect, I want that to be stuck. Like, it's up and it's stuck. You feel me? So, yeah. So I'm going in and I'm fitting my hair again to my face with the glue on it this time so that way it stays in place. I mean, it's giving hairline. Yes, it is. OMG. So yeah, giving, giving, giving. As you can see, now I'm going in with my freeze blast spray again over that wig, um, over the hairline of that wig with the where I put the glue and where the lace and the ends of the hair combine. I'm actually going through and I'm soaking. When I say I am soaking that hairline, I am soaking that hairline. Like, it is super, super wet. And then that's when I'm going to wrap it up, add some heat to it, and it's going to lay, lay down. You feel me? 
So I'm just gonna let you guys watch because I mean, it's pretty much self-explanatory. All right, y'all, so again, I went in with some more of that freeze blast spray and I wrapped my hair up one more time and kind of gave it some heat just so that I can make sure that that wig is laid, laid down. You feel me? So now I'm going in with my eyebrow razor and I am just cutting that lace to perfect my hairline. I'm getting the excess lace off, but not cutting too much lace off as well to where it doesn't look like a natural hairline. So, yeah, just watch.
Yeah, so as y'all can see, y'all, your girl needed a little bit of a close-up, so I had to get my get one of my little mirrors off the wall, you feel me, and go back in with the, the razor and get the rest of that excess lace off because we can't have no lace hanging, we can't have no lace sticking up, and we can't have no lace throwing off the look, you feel me? So I definitely had to go back in and make sure that I got all of that out the way. And as y'all can see, my hairline is really starting to come together now. It's really giving scalp. <laughs> you feel me? Now, must I reiterate again, you feel me? I had to go in one more time with that freeze blast spray to make sure that wig laid down. You feel me? So, <laughs> this time I went in with the freeze blast spray, spray to lay down the, the excess lace that I had pulled up from when I was cutting. As well as laying down the hair and making sure it sticks to the glue that's already on my scalp. You feel me? So... I went in, I, I sprayed the freeze blast again, now I'm wrapping it up one more time. I'm going to apply some heat to that, and I'm going to show you guys the final look. You feel me? Y'all, so as y'all can see, I still got some little white specks or whatever, which is why I got that bottle of conditioner and water. I don't know what just happened in that little part, but I ain't even gonna pay attention to it, y'all. We gonna keep going. So right now, I'm taking my foundation, and I'm going in, and I'm just, you know, filling in and coloring the my hairline so that it blends with the rest of my body. When I say that hair is giving hairline, it's giving hairline. I love it. And as y'all can see, as I was reiterating about that lace laying down and not having too much extra lace, as y'all can see right there, as I'm petting down on that side, on the other side, I could see that it was still some lace sticking up. Um, yeah. So we gonna fix that eventually, I'm sure. I know I saw that. I'm just going in and I am coating my hairline with the foundation to change the color uh, and then I'm going to go in with a makeup wipe and I'm going to just clean it up so it's not as dark and as powdery looking 
but still looks like a natural hairline. Alrighty, and so now I am going through and I am parting out my edges. So I'm just taking out a little bit of the hair at the top so that I can go through and put that or make that as part of, as part of my edges.
All right, so as you guys can see, I have finally gotten the hair out that I'm going to use for my edges. And now I'm going to go through with that freeze blast spray and I am going to lay those edges down. And my goal at this particular point is to also make sure that that wig is laid down and that there's no excess um, foundation that's kind of throwing off the color of the scalp, so to say. So now I'm going to take my edge scarf again, I'm going to wrap it up, apply some heat to that for four to five minutes, and... We'll be back with the final look. So now that my hair got the edges are laid down, I'm going to go through with my eyebrow razor and I'm going to cut those edges to my desired length so that I can start to mold them. Right now I'm kind of just lifting the edges from my forehead because the freeze blast spray will have them stuck to your forehead. So I'm kind of just making sure that the hair isn't stuck to my face anymore so that way it's easier to work with when it comes time to mold and shape the edges in the way that I want them to go. Y'all, when I say these edges were giving me hell, these edges were giving me hell. Still working, still working. Okay, we're getting somewhere. You know, midway through the video, I was like, the side part is really not giving what I wanted to give. And so I decided to switch it up to the middle part. So I think it gave what it was supposed to give. But when it come to that plucking, baby, 
you better plug, plug, plug. And if you think you done, keep plucking. Because, baby, when I say that hair turned out exactly how I wanted it to turn out, watch the process. When I say plucking is very much necessary, it is very much necessary. Because if you don't pluck right, baby, that that middle part, that side part, whatever you got, baby, it's not going to look how it's supposed to look. And when I tell you it's supposed to look natural, it's supposed to look natural. So just keep watching because I'm going to show you natural. If your arms don't get tired, you ain't did it right. I'm talking about that bag. I had to take a break. I got tired. You feel me? But guess what? That that that, that middle part, baby, is going to be off the charts. You feel me? Look. Scout, baby. Scout. Yes. 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 For all the girls. And this is the final look, y'all. When I say I put the face on, the hair is giving very much so. And I am just in love with the look all around, y'all. But thank y'all for tuning into my video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, drop a comment down below, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.